Hello Plan Ocean Reefers, what a glorious day it is today in the Highlands. Not a better place in the world to live when the weather is like this. Lovely fresh air and glorious scenery. Anyway, we shall uh, move into Plan Ocean and let's see what we got from the Tropical Marine Centre yesterday in a delivery together with other stock items that we've had already in stock. Anyway, I'll just uh, start off with the display tank. Nothing much to mention in the actual display itself, apart from a little bit of karma. Well, you know last time I uh, squeezed a torch in, well, uh, the glue couldn't have set properly and it landed right in the middle of the plate coral, and it is no longer. So that was a nice expensive mistake, and I got told you so as well. But anyway. Um, another thing to mention as well is uh, we are starting to move across on this aquarium to the Neptune Apex system. So uh, thank you to Steve at Exodus for uh, sorting this out for us. So as you can see we have the system controlling our aquariums at the moment. I'm still in the process of moving some of the sockets and everything across uh, from the reef factory. Um, we're not getting rid of the reef factory equipment at all because we are actually going to be moving it over onto our coral system. But I just like to show the apex system off. Uh, as you can see down here, there we are. I had it all rewired and everything. We've still got the same with the reef factory at the moment until I can move everything over. But so far, very impressed with it. Very pleased with it. The setup was fairly simple. And uh, yeah, all well and good. It'll also uh, message me in power outages or internet fallouts as well. So uh, there's like a heartbeat system to it that sends a signal. Um, whenever your power goes off or anything, then it'll let you know. As well as the normal controllability and the probes and messages for the, those kind of things. So yeah, so well, so far so good. Anyway, that's the uh, display. As I say, not an awful lot else happening in it. the coffee shop there and on to the Aqua Pro which is our softies tank everything going well in here too in fact it's uh, growing out quite a lot might be time to start fragging I think and we'll move across on to the DD Reef Pro as well so everything in there going okay too so we will get started on the livestock that we have in at the moment and we have a blue spot nasal tan, Aptasia eating filefish, bleeding heart wrasse, a blue pipe fish, a moorish idol, a blue assessor and some green chromis. Into the next aquarium and we have some eagle damsels, a vampire tan, a jewel algae blenny, some Indian Ocean firefish, and a female peacock grass. Moving into the next aquarium, and we have a shot silk goby, some yellowtail blue damsels, a regal tan, a leopard wrasse false, a zebra goby, a red jawfish, and a bicolour angel. Moving up into the next one, and we have a yellowtail purple tang, some tank bred Ocellaris clownfish, a court jester goby, a wet morella gold band, and a royal grammar. Into the next aquarium, and we have an orchid dotty bat, a female peacock grass, a round faced tang, a tiger jawfish a white banded wet morella and some emperor cardinals there. Moving into the next aquarium and we have a lemon peel dwarf angel, a white tailed tang, a koi parrot fish and a paddlefin goby. 
you know, past some of the uh, X display models and special offers that we have here. Have a quick look to see if anything fancies. We're uh, also doing 15% um, off on any of the new gyres here. So the gyre jumps or the XF330s, return pump. move into the next aquarium uh, we have a regal tan a fireball angel a red banded goby and a pajama ras move into the next aquarium we have a gold street blenny a coral beauty angel a wreck fish and a regal tan into the next aquarium and we have a couple of blue star damsels Bleeding Heart Wrasse, a Sylphin Tang, a Tank Bread Oslaris Clownfish, a Suntail Goby, a Bicolor Blenny, and a Royal Grammar. Move down into the next aquarium, and we have a Tuxedo Hog, a West Indian Ocean New Season Regal Angel. It's just a little totty, there it is, turn it out. Little beauty, that one. We have a red hog, a Diana hog, a sulfur goby, some black and white tank bred clownfish, a sea fighter dwarf parrot wrasse, a beautiful stunning powder blue tang, and a royal grammar. Into the next aquarium, and we have a copper band butterfly, we have a Lamarck angel, rosy dwarf parrot wrasse, a Midas blenny, and a long nosed hawk. Moving into the next aquarium, we have a bicolour chromis, a clown tang, ocellaris clownfish pair, and a dual algae blenny. Move across into the coral cave. I'm going to take a look at some of the corals we have at the moment. So we have some chalice down the bottom there, short tentacle plate. A lovely ultra coral sea brain that came in yesterday. Red pom pom, green short tentacle plate, torch corals, frog spawn corals, hammer corals, Duncan frogs there, some chalices as too. Trumpet, the war coral. Uh, yesterday came in as well. We got some Tridacna crocea clams. They're lovely. We've still got the trachophilias, orange hammers, the dragon soul torch, frog spawns across the top, and some more green torches here as well. And some honey corals there, Yayamysis. Across the top, we have our 20 pound frags. And 30 pound frags. Red and green Montes. Hollywood Stunner Chalices. Stylophora Milkers. Then into the bottom there, the lovely Pectinia Lettuce. Some stunning Acans. Beautiful brains here. Lovely Synphilia there. What a stunner that is. As is this uh, Raja Rampage. Some Favias. Aiken Echinata. Move across into the next aquarium. And we have some uh, little slightly larger colonies there. As well as some Acrofrags, uh, coral sea ones. Across into the next aquarium, and um, we have uh, some birds' nests, acropora across the tops, postulopora, really large oh, stunner chalices. There, so move down, and we have some uh, cleaner shrimps that arrived in yesterday. 
lots of pulse coral, some soft corals there, bush corals, cabbage coral, some zoas. Little green leather there, some recordia mushrooms, GSP, some Fiji mushrooms, little 20 pound softy frogs there too. Quick run on the uh, dry goods too. Obviously we've got the Ecotech AI. We're now we're gonna be expanding the range of the Neptune systems as well. We have the Junior in stock at the moment, but we will be expanding some of the choices for the range. Reefs elements, Foramarin, obviously Rofos. Reef factory equipment, HANA. Salifert test kits. So we've got the Tunzi pumps as, pumps as well. Anyway, that's about it. Let's see, just a, an update on the livestock that we got in. Another bits and pieces, and a little bit of update on the moving over onto the Neptune Apex. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.